Dogs, the rents are threatening to take away my internet privileges if I come home with a single F. <laughs> Too bad my math teacher totally has it in for me. Forget F. I'll be lucky to get a G or an H. Sometimes I think life would be easier if I was a dog. Heck, I'd even settle for being C2. Oh. All right, who peed on the rug? Uh, I could be wrong, Jamie, but I don't remember copying someone else's homework being a part of the assignment. Yo, man, don't even. T2 totally did this for you. The least you can do is share the love. Yeah, yeah, just speed it up. I can't be late for math again. So what? Now you're a model student? What can I say? If I pull off one A on my report card, the rent promised to buy me a new Gala XP computer. I wouldn't be tossing out your old computer just yet, if I was you. Tell me about it. They could offer me a jetpack for all that matters. I've never had an A in my life. Hey, hmm? Mr. Agar, how's my math mark shaping up for this term? <laughs> Into the shape of an F. Any way we could remold that into into more of a loose D? Dream on, Crashman. A D actually requires a minimum of effort. I'm concerned about Chloe's attitude. In what way, Principal Powers? Your daughter's rebellious nature is causing a disruption in and out <gasps> of the classroom. Could you, uh, be more specific? Okay. Chloe refuses to socialize outside of her goth circle, refers to the other students as hall meat, calls her teachers the living dead, <gasps> and spray-painted city morgue on the cafeteria walls! <clears throat> and that was on a good day. I see. Thank you for bringing this to our attention. We'll see to it that Chloe makes the necessary attitude adjustment. <sighs> huh. Dark Damsel! How did your meeting with the principal fare? It was a total nightmare, Damien. And not in a good way. Mother insists I change my attitude or I can't go to the skeleton ball. Oh, cruel fates! That's the biggest graveyard event of the witching season! What will you do? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's time I made a new friend. Why are you staring at a blank computer screen? Just getting used to life without internet. There's still a week until report cards are due. I'll do your studying for you, if you want to finish darning your own socks. Oh, no thanks. Won't help anyway. Mr. Agar totally has it in for me. I'd probably have to spit polish his shoes or, or pick up his dry cleaning that's or something awesome. to get my grades out of the gutter. Hey, that's a great idea. Get real, C2. There's no way I'm gonna be Agar's lackey. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. Hmm. Although... <laughs> Carl, why are you looking at me like that? Good morning, Mr. Agar. Crashman? What are you doing here? School doesn't let in for another hour. Yes, sir, Mr. Agar, sir. Just thought I'd get an early start. Right. What do you really want and make it snappy? I'm up to my armpits and term papers. Well, sir, I was just thinking, maybe I could give you a hand with some of your workload. I see, hoping to brown nose your way into a passing grade. Have you no shame? Um, no. At least I don't think so. Well, lucky for you, neither do I. Wipe down the blackboards, empty the wastebasket, and scrape the gum off the bottom of all the chairs. <laughs> if you do a good job, maybe we can talk business. Yes, sir! This semester would be nice. Oh, right! 
I'm on it! Hiya. You're Tiffany, right? Uh, the head cheerleader? What do you want? Don't vampires, like, sleep during the day? <laughs> Are you still here, Elvira? It's Chloe, actually. I want to learn more about being a... Uh, cheerleader. And I was hoping you could give me some pointers? Are you, like, serious? Oh, cross my heart and hope to die. And I mean that literally. I don't know, you look kind of hopeless. I love your hair! <gasps> oh, okay, meet me in the cafe at lunch tomorrow. I'll be at the table with all the really popular people. Dark spirits protect me. <laughs> all done, Mr. Agar, sir. What, already? Yes, sir. I filed and collated your paperwork by subject, due date, paper stock, and binder color. I don't believe it. I was even hoping to buff your leather briefcase for you, but I couldn't find any polish. You're full of surprises, aren't you, Crashman? I think this little arrangement of ours may work out after all. <laughs> Isn't this the teacher's lounge? It is indeed. Normally only staff members are allowed beyond this point, but I pulled a few strings. Never let it be said that brown nosing doesn't have its privileges. Well, not too shabby, am I right? Wowee! It's incredible! You think this is wild? Where do you see the executive washroom? The mints alone are to die for. Algae, the copies for your surprise pop quiz are ready to be picked up at the printer. Great, thanks. <laughs> okay. I gotta fly, Crashman, but stay as long as you'd like. As teacher's aid, you have a full access pass. I highly recommend the Swedish massage. Oh, oh boy. I better get home right away and tell Carl about this. Finger sandwich. Woo! Five more minutes can't hurt. <laughs> and, and Mr. Agar says I can drop by the lounge whenever I want. He even gave me the secret code. Hmm, nice. They have everything in there. They even had finger sandwiches. And they were shaped like, like fingers. I ate 10 of them while Mr. Agar went to pick up his pop quiz. Hey, did you say pop quiz? <gasps> yup. I overheard it while I was in the teacher's lounge. Why? Was that bad? No, C2. That was good. Very good. So thanks to C2, I now have a full access pass to the teacher's lounge. Man, you got the hookup. Yup. Rumors, gossip, test scores, you name it. Probably won't net me an A, but at least it's a start. Hey! L Lenny. <laughs> hey, crash test dummy. Heard the teacher has a new pet. Know what we do with teacher's pets around here? We pet them real hard. <gasps> Wait! I've got classified info. Let us live and I'll share it. Yeah, what he said. Spill. Keep this on the down low. But, Agar's gonna pop a pop quiz on the class tomorrow. You sure about that? Rock solid. And there's plenty more where that came from. Okay, Trashman. You just saved yourself a trip to the school nurse. This time. I told you about. Hi, I'm Chloe. Mind if I join you? Oh! <laughs> Chloe's here to learn about cheerleading. I've been looking for an after school activity, and the Headstone Carving Society was shut down, so. Lesson one cheerleading isn't an activity, it's a lifestyle! these fashion magazines home and study them. Then we'll talk. Ugh. Friend homework. Ah, there you are. I brought the polish. Just be sure not to overbuff. 
Leather needs to breathe. Ah, uh, yeah. My briefcase, Crashman? <clears throat> you practically begged me to let you polish it. I swear, kids today have the attention span of a gnat. <laughs> Carl, how was school? Fine, except for the part where I'm Agar's new manservant. Speaking of which, here you go. <laughs> Happy polishing. Hmm. <gasps> Pop quiz answer grid. Uh oh, we can't let this fall into the wrong hands. Ah, uh, yeah, right you are, C2. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. We came in early for this, Crotchman. It better be the real deal. Oh, heh. It is, Lenny. Guaranteed. Pleasure doing business. Come on, boys. We got a pop quiz to ace. <laughs> Still early. Man, C2 was right. This is so sweet. Student report card files. <laughs> One little peek won't hurt. Ah, there I am. Ooh, that's no good. There, all A's. <laughs> Never thought I'd see the day. Shame I have to change you back. Ah! <laughs> Select all? Select all what? <laughs> Man, I cannot get enough of these mints. Here's your report card, Crashman. Good luck. Yo, what's the damage? All A's. I'm toast. Whoa, I got all A's too. Oh, I've never seen so many A's. That's not possible. What is going on here? Oh, you know what this means. Yeah, bro. You should have held out for that jetpack. <laughs> oh. Hey, Mom! Dad! Beautiful day, huh? Whoa! Aren't you, uh, forgetting something? Uh, no, no, I, I, don't, I don't think so. Okay, then, see you later. Your report card, sweetie, hand it over. Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, we, we, we didn't get them. There, there was some kind of weird glitch with the school computer. Chloe, honey, a word, please. <laughs> We talked with your principal, and he says there's been no significant change in your behavior. Sorry, Chloe. No skeleton ball for you this year. <gasps> no way! I tried to comply with your morbid demands, and now you're telling me I made friends with the head cheerleader for nothing? Cheerleader? Friends? You? Honey, that's a big step. How do you feel? Dead inside. And that's good, right? Oh! I, I can't wait to meet her! How's tomorrow after school sound? <laughs> Ooh, and the nightmare just keeps on giving. Carl! Where's your report card? I made a frame for it. Now show me those beautiful Ds. It's not always about the grade, C2. Sometimes it's what's in here that counts. But that's what you always say when you fail at something. <gasps> you didn't fail, did you? Not exactly. No. I don't understand. I don't want to talk about it. Ever. <laughs> Lenny! Uh, I, I don't have any more cheat sheets if that's what you want. Actually, I wanted to thank you for getting me all A's. What? I didn't. It wasn't. Come on, Crashman. Don't be so humble. No other students have free access to the system. You're our inside man. Everybody knows uh, that. Everybody? <laughs> everybody. <laughs> Keep up the good work. We're gonna be good pals, you and I. <clears throat> hmm? <laughs> Hello. What do we got here? Carl's report card. Straight A's. 
Howie's friends with a cheerleader. And Carl has straight A's. <gasps> it's official. I've entered a parallel universe. <laughs> hey. C2, you in there? Boy, you sure had me fooled, Carl. All this time you've been a genius and didn't tell me? What are you? Forget it. I don't want to know. Come on. I need you to cover for me at school. Stat. Yeah. Aren't you going to introduce huh? me to your new friend, Chloe? Dame? Why are you dressed like a total freak? I thought we were changing our image to better fit in amongst our peers. Not for real. It's just a ploy to get my parents and the principal off my back. Oh, yes, right. I knew that. Hi, Tiffany. I brought back your magazines. Keep them. You obviously need them more than I do. Don't you like own a mirror? Oh, wait, I forgot. Vampires don't cast a reflection. We also don't like garlic, so you might want to do something about that breath. This isn't going to work out. You're just not cheerleader material. Oh, really? So coming to my house after school and meeting my parents is probably out then. I guess a picture of us together will have to suffice. Hey! Stop that! Hit it out! <laughs> well, that was disturbing. My little brother got gum in my hair! I had to cut it all off! Please! You can't say anything! Ugh, relax. Your secret's safe with me. Oh, by the way, I need a little favor. Now remember, you go to Mr. Agar's class like normal. No leaving. Not even to use the bathroom. He has to see you there at all times. Understood. And what will you be doing, Carl? Trying to undo a huge mistake. Now let's go. <laughs> I'm keeping my eye on you, Crashman. Oh, good. Then it's all going according to plan. <laughs> Hmm. Here we go. <laughs> Access denied? <laughs> Jamie, why is Mr. Agar staring at me with a look of barely controlled rage? Yo, I think he might be on to you. <gasps> He knows I'm a cloche? No, man. He thinks you're the one who tampered with the grades on the report cards. Oh, phew. Good thing it wasn't me then, huh? But what kind of person would do something like that? It's really nice to finally meet you, Tiffany. <laughs> yes. Chloe's told us, well, almost nothing about you. <laughs> so what was it that brought you two together as friends? We both share an interest in photography. Okay. Gotta go. Have fun, you two. Okay. I did your evil bidding. Can I, like, go now? Of course. Just remember, I still have the digital picture in case I need to revisit our special friendship in the future. You're a horrible human being. Hey, finally something we agree on. Later, girlfriend. <sighs> hey, Carl. We got something for you. Huh. Uh, w what is it? Why, your Gala XP computer, of course. A promise is a promise. I found your report card in your room. Straight A's ring a bell? We're so proud of you, Carl. <sighs> what was that about? Beats me. You're the shrink in the family. You too, huh? Yeah. Mr. Agar was really mad at me today. I guess I wasn't a very good teacher's aide. Sorry, Carl. That's it. I can't take it. It wasn't you, C2. It was me. I used the computer in the teacher's lounge to give everyone all A's on the report cards. <gasps> so that's why Principal Power said he was close to the truth and that he would bring me down one way or another. Great. I'm totally busted. I should have just come clean. But, Carl, you still can. No way. Every time I try to fix things, I end up making them worse. Maybe I can help. It took a lot of guts to come clean, Carl. I'll give you that. But this is a serious matter. 
and there will be repercussions. Carl is willing to accept whatever punishment you deem fit. Isn't that right, Carl? Absolutely, Mommy. And might I offer a suggestion? Go ahead. I believe an offense of this magnitude requires nothing less severe than an atomic wedgie. Issued by yourself, of course. I'll even get you started. <laughs> Whoa! Tempting, but not exactly what I had in mind. Ah! I have to rewrite the proper grades on each report card by hand? Do you have any idea how many report cards that is? 687, not including yours. Great! First I lose my new Gala XP and now this. Oh, why couldn't I just change the grades by computer? Hey, that's what Principal Powers said. But then I convinced him this would send a stronger message. Uh, what? Did I say something wrong? There's about to be one less Carl in the world. <laughs> I got it, Carl. We did it. We got a D in math. No way. It must be a misprint. Uh-uh. Mr. Agar told me that I showed more initiative in the past three days than I did in his class for the whole year. Really? He actually said that? Yup. Then he mumbled something about never trusting a student again for as long as he lived. Pull up a chair, C2. Let's celebrate by surfing the net together. <sighs> Carl, that's so thoughtful of you. Well, after I finished rewriting all those report cards, I realized how much I needed you. To work the keyboard until the crippling pain subsides. Aww. Sorry. What up, Blog Dogs? If you want to know more about me and my clone, check out Carl's website anytime. <laughs>